Welcome to another edition of Tuesday Tent Talk. Hi, I'm Brian with Fred's Tents. Today, as you can see right here behind me, is a tent washer. And just so happens, I have Steve Arndt with me. And uh, Steve is with Tico Solutions. And we talk about all kinds of different things throughout the industry. And uh, kind of that game changer and what really has um, helped the industry. And talk to us a little bit about what we have behind us here and you know what you feel you brought to the industry. Yeah, Brian, what we have behind us here is a, is a washing machine specifically designed to wash tents. 25 years ago, my wife Becky and I scratch started a tent rental business. And about three and a half years in, it grew. We had, it grew great. We owned trucks, buildings, had a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So by all measures, it was going great. Except we were working tremendously hard, right? No, no new news for a startup. Right. And when we started analyzing what was going on, we really realized that keeping our tents clean was a big bottleneck for us. And so that's when we started to look for, how can we mechanize that? And that's really, you know, a chain of events happened that we designed our own machine at that point and sold to somebody. So interesting, and a lot of times people don't understand that, and I actually never knew that story. So that's that's even more interesting. The thing is, is our industry has really helped continue to develop. You know, I talked with Scott uh, with Ten Ox, and you know, there's other things too, but uh, that's fascinating. So, how long did you keep the rental business after you started designing and building? It wasn't very long, to be honest with you. Okay. You know, when okay. we, did, we we woke up and decided, hey, although the business is great, we took the amount of profit that we had in our business and divided it by the amount of hours that I was working. And I realized that, you know, I could go work for somebody else for this amount of dollar per hour. Okay. And it was disheartening. So that's when I made the commitment to start mechanizing things and getting things better in the business. And to be honest with you, this was our first endeavor. We looked at we looked at building a washing machine. We did. Somebody came along and bought the first one by total accident. We sold a few more. And although the, the rental business is coming around for us, we're doing a nice job of, of sure. making building processes, getting the right people in place. It wasn't happening fast enough for my for my family. They were growing up faster than, than I could make that change. So we, we were able to make the shift and enough people were buying the wash machines at that point that we were able to then go into selling the wash machines full time. Wow. So it was really a gift. So in the industry, how many do you think you have out there right now? We have over 400 across the world. Wow, fascinating. Yeah. And multiple sizes. Yes multiple sizes. In fact, over time, that's changed quite a bit for us. We started off with, actually with the machine we see behind us, the old Model 3000, and then we built some smaller ones. And then kind of fast forward a number of years, we started tailoring the machines to the type of machines that different companies need. You know, some companies that were really big, that were washing seven days a week and they had the machine on 10, 12 hours a day, they needed a lot more op autom autom automated machines. Sure, they absolutely. would pay for a lot more features that the smaller companies really didn't even need. So Steve, let's talk a little bit about this particular machine. How long ago was this one here installed? In 2010. So we're 13 years past and um, issues just constantly running. What, what's, what's They run the this machine every day. The owner just told me he's been down cumulative five days over 13 years. Five days, yes. that's pretty fascinating. So do you think they run five days a week or are they seven days a week? This, this operation is probably a five-day operation. Okay. You know, okay. A handful of loads a day. And of course, you know, everyone's going to be different. Up top, you'll see there's a, a heater. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about what you've got here with the entire system. Yes. So everybody, uh, everybody's got a different need when they buy a washing machine. Some people have the, the hot water that they need, mm -hmm. you know, at the right temperature. Some people are starting from scratch. So in this case, this person was starting from scratch. So we designed a, a system for them that they could install with small water lines. They didn't need a big gas line coming in. So it was compatible with their building and it kept up with the production needs. So they needed to fill up the machine really quickly full of water so they could do cycles very quickly. Right. So we right. matched what they needed from our production standpoint. Okay, okay. So what what is a good takeaway? We've talked about family, we've talked about, you know, mechanicalizing the, the process. What, what do you have to say to anyone out there that is thinking about it or um, what's the next step? Well, if you're gonna focus in on uh, washing tents, you definitely need to figure out how to mechanize it. But you've also gotta figure out how to mechanize everything about your tent model business. Right? Because if you don't learn how to mechanize it, that tent rental business is going to own you. Mm -hmm. And I had, a, I had a tent rental business that owned me. 
I was working long hours. I wasn't, I'm not afraid of hard work at all. I'm not saying that. But I wasn't home for my kids. I wasn't home for my wife. Only when we started thinking about how are we going to become efficient at this. That's when the washing machine came into play. We wanted a washing machine that was safe on tents, gonna get them ultra clean, gonna keep them in the cleanest level possible where our customers were happy. Very good. Our customers were happy, my wife was happy, I was happy, my kids were happy, and my friends were happy. It did all that, right? So efficiency in the tent rental business is key. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, for Steve, I'm Brian. That's another edition of Tuesday Tent Talk. And if you have any suggestions or comments in regards to any of these that we've done, text in, no, not text in, just kidding. Let's email right here. It's ttt at wemaketents.com. And Steve, I really appreciate the time you've taken today and uh, talk with us. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you. Hey, again, have a great day.